Large video files is gonna need some cooling. So I'll catch my breath, I'll catch my breath and do the test, check the temperature and everything, and then install this, put it back in the computer, do the same test in the same situation, and only then I'll close the computer. Let's see. Okay, it's no. The fans on the graphics card stop because that's how it's supposed to work. The cooler fan always runs, and the exhaust fan at the back there, one extra fan here, so there is cooling in the case. But still, without the heatsink, the temperature should be higher than with the heatsink. Let's try, I'll do a few tests. Windows is starting now, so let's go. I don't know what happened here, the computer restarted once, maybe it needed to do a restart to set up the NVMe, I'm not sure, but it's on now, okay. Okay, the computer is running, I put it a bit, I put it a bit, I moved it a little bit under the desk, so it's away from my feet and everything happening here, and let's see. Okay, so we have the screen here, probably the drive is not going to be available, but it depends on how it's set up. So it's not available, but that's not a problem, because I need to, the drive is not available in my computer, but actually it's not a problem, because I need to initialize the drive, and also I need to format it. So under my PC here, right click on my PC, and on Windows 11 I might have to choose show more option, more options, and click manage. Here on the computer management, go to disk management. And this might take a while to initialize, to read the drives. It's connecting to virtual disk service, so yeah, this could take a while now. Okay. okay. It's already asking me if I want to initialize the drive, the disk, and I could initialize it. It's already asking me if I want to initialize the disk, and I could initialize it as MBR, but this is the old style. The GPT is the more recent style of having a partition, and that's the disk list too. But I will cancel this, I'll close it, I just want to show you that you can actually see it here. You can do the same from, from the actual disk here. So here I have my C drive, disk 3, partition 1 and 4, the external drive, external disk. These are the actual disks connected, so I could check the status, the size, if it's online. So disk 3, it has a C drive, you can see the partitions here. Disk 4, it has the X drive, that's the, in the external NVMe enclosure. Disk 5 here, it has the F drive, that's the 18 terabyte external hard disk. And I don't know where is disk 2? I think it's, ah, it's here, okay, so I also I have to scroll up a little bit. Disk 0 is the E drive, 22 terabyte. Disk 1 is the D drive, 22 terabyte. Disk 2 is not initialized, as you see it. That's the one we need to initialize. Disk 3 has the C drive. Disk 4 has the X drive, external NVMe. Disk 5 has the 18 terabyte external hard drive, and then there is the CD-ROM. So we have here, this is very important not to do something, the wrong thing, because you could actually erase the whole partition and lose all the files on that partition. So here there's this red, there's a red indicator there. On this two, right click on this two, and initialize disk, and I get the same pop-up, the same as before. So in case you click cancel here by mistake, this is how you get to the disk itself. This is how you initialize the disk, it's a new NVMe drive. So I will initialize 